Welcome to section 5, getting depth information from images. In this section, we're going to use stereo camera to try to find depth information from any scene. In this video, we're going to create the thread for the two cameras of our stereo array. So the first thing that we need to do is to open Qt Creator and open our project. Now let's go to resource and right click in the qml.qrc file and we're going to add a new view so we're going to add a new qml file we're going to call this Kali we're going to use this view for um, our camera calibration so let's click on next finish perfect now remember we're going to put an alias to our file so we're going to right click in the qml.qrc file and open in editor this file and we're going to put an alias to this and we're going to save this file perfect now we have it in here and now let's go to the calib.qml file we're going to erase this I'm going to speed up this thing a little so I want to copy the upper part of the show video view in here I'm going to reuse this code and I want to erase this connection and this property. This is because we're going to use the the same libraries. We're going to use the quit, you quit controls, you quit layouts, dialog, and our frame library. So really quick, I will change the label of our title to calibration. Perfect. And once we have our view set, we are going to start by defining some the elements we're going to show. So first, I want to create a row layout. And this row layout with the width button. And this will be 60% of the part. OK. And we're going to anchor the top to the bar at the bottom but and in here we're going to show two image one beside the other and that's because we're going to calibrate our cameras at the same time so we want to show the video input from the two camera one beside the other so i will copy this to speed up the process because i don't want to lose too much time in the QML view. I will copy this in here and let's check it out. We want to create a column and it will have the half of the width, the row layout. We will put an image in here the same way we did in the previous views frame. We're going to use the same concept in here and we're going to put two of these, one beside the other. Remember, this is a row layout. Perfect. And now we need to put at the bottom buttons that we're going to use to start the calibration and to stop the calibration process. I'm going to copy these two buttons too. We're going to create a row layout. We're going to put an ID. We're going to center it in the pattern horizontal center. We're going to anchor it to the bottom of the pattern and we're going to create the calibrate button and the stop button. <laughs> So perfect. So now that we have this view almost ready, let's go to the show video. And here we're going to add a new button. So first let's put an ID in here. I'm going to call it video button like this. And now I'm going to copy this. Call it button. We're going to put your video. We're going to change that to calibrate. Perfect. And, and here we're going to call the calib view. So let's test this right now and see if we have any errors. So perfect. We have calibrate and we lose the other button. Let me see. All right. I know what is happening here. We are overlapping these two buttons because they both anchor to the or were anchored to the image button so we change the anchoring here too 
I forget about that. Now we have our three buttons. And here is our button calibrate, our button stop, and the two views. Perfect. So now I will go to our file capture class in the file capture.h file. And in here we're going to start adding some attributes. And the first thing that we are going to do is to create an integer that will hold our device index. And remember the cameras are indexed by the system. In Linux, you will find that in the slash video folder you will have video one video two video zero depending on the number of camera you will have i will have from video zero to video two because i have three camera connected so depending on your system you will have another index and depending on the number of camera you have connected in your computer so perfect we have our integer now let's generate the a setter for this integer factor tool and create setter member function so once we have our attribute let's go and create a new slot we're going to create a boy open camera by num and we're going to receive already so we're going to open camera by num Perfect, and now we're going to refactor and add the definition in our file capture CPP. Okay, now that we have our we have our function in here, now let's go and search for the open camera because the same. And we're going to change two things. The first thing is that we're going to put the key to put in here device. So for this if okay in the while we're going to precise this calibration will be a really intensive process so we want to or I want to speed up the things a little so you can see the uh, calibration process my machine doesn't die trying so I will precise this and hope for the best hope this doesn't or alter the result of the that information at the end and we're going to resize our frame to arbitrary number you don't have to do this i am doing this because i want to show you really quickly the process so perfect we have this and now we have an open camera by now perfect now i want to go to the threat manager class in here perfect and we're going to um, create new queue invocable function that will be run camera and we're going to receive and now let's generate our definition again with our refactor tool perfect like this we have it and the first thing i want to do is to set the device device to pass the device perfect and now i want to grab all the put it in here and i want to change this to to open camera by now perfect and now we have our thread but we need to create two threads for this so the thing that we need to do is go to the main .cpp file and in here we're going to create two new thread managers. First one will be camera thread one and the second one will be camera thread two perfect and we're going to expose those to our QML environment. So I will copy this really quickly and I will expose the camera thread one and the camera thread two really quickly, just like that, perfect. And now we can go to our Calib view in here and now we can change this at our onclick slot and 
And here we're going to say that if on click the calibrate button, we're going to call the camera thread one dot run. And we're going to say camera and we're going to pass one. I will check this number. So I will show you how to check this on Linux. So run camera two. Let me let me check this quick. It's run camera with device. Perfect. Run camera, run camera. And other thing that we need to do in here is to create a connection. So this will be connections to update overview just like we did in the show video i will show you in here so camera thread one over one when on update on update view we're going to say that the place holder one visible will be false because we want to hide that open open cv logo and we want camera one and camera one will be the first frame that we have in here. It's called camera one. So we want camera one dot visible equal true. And we want to set our frame. So camera one dot set row frame. And we're going to pass frame. That is what we are receiving in this signal. The update view from our thread manager perfect now we are going to do the same but with placeholder 2 the camera 2 camera 2 perfect so let's check it out i will show you so if we go to the show video and we go to the beginning we will see connection video thread on debut we're going to set the raw frame for the select image frame object that we have in this view it's the same here only that we are doing the turning visibility bar in this connection at the same time so we finish with this let's run the application and test and we have this and before we can go on I want to check my camera index and for that i'm going to open going to open a terminal and, and list the folder device but i want to filter the output and you will see i have video zero one two so let's see the outcome of this i hope i set the right camera so i will hit the calibrate here it is but we don't have an update in our view so let's check it out we find the error misspell the signal here is on debut not on updated go again and calibrate and i will do that again so in calib we're going to say but run camera i will change this to zero just to show you how it works perfect calibrate and here it is now we're ready to continue i will close this